In this video, I'm going to cover two things. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to install multicharts on your VPS or your PC at home. Something which should be very straightforward, but you can run into some errors, and I'm going to show you how to fix those errors. And then I'm going to explain what a VPS or virtual private server is and why you might want to use one and the benefits of using one. For those of you who don't already know, Multicharts is a trading and development platform which I use, which you can use for Forex, futures, stocks, crypto, any market which you like. But it isn't a web-based platform, so it has to be installed on your computer or your VPS. A VPS is simply a cloud-based computer which is always on and always connected. Most VPS providers claim they have an uptime of well over 99%, so pretty much on all the time without any interruptions. Today, I'm using a VPS from Trading FX VPS, and they claim to have 0% downtime, and by my calculations, that's 100% uptime. And I can confirm that has been the case ever since I've been using it. And you can find more about VPS from Trading FX VPS if you find the link in the description down below. So let's get on with the installation process. The screen which we're looking at is inside my Windows VPS. I'm actually using my Mac to access the VPS. And you can do that. You can do it not only on a Mac, but you can do it on an iPad, your phone, etc. But you need some sort of a software which allows access to the VPSs. And I'm using Microsoft Remote Desktop. I'm not going to go through it now how you install Microsoft Remote Desktop and connect to the VPS, but if you actually use or choose a VPS from Trading FX VPS, they give you all the instructions on what remote software to use and, and how to exactly use it. Now this is the third time that I've tried to record this, this screen recording video because sometimes when you install or when you try to install multicharts on the VPS or possibly your home computer with Windows too, you can get an immediate error. I've had this error a few different times on a few different VPSs and I wanted to show you on this computer. However, I'm using this VPS from Trading FX VPS and it doesn't get the error. Multicharts installs seamlessly. But I'm going to show you what to do if you get the error. I'll put the error code on the screen now and it's a Windows error code which happens immediately when you try to install multicharts. So when we get to that stage, I'll show you how to overcome that error. But first of all, let's download the multicharts install package. And we're going to do that simply by just opening a browser, trading FX VPS. They, they preloaded these tabs here to, to help you out. Okay, we're just going to open a new tab and we want to go multicharts download. We're going to choose this one, top result. And here we're using regular multicharts. We're not using multicharts.net. We're on the regular multicharts. And it gives you the download for the latest version. So we're going to click download. You'll see in the top corner here, as she says, download's done. We could probably click on that there to open it, but we're going to close the browser, go to the file explorer, downloads, and here it is, here's the multi-charts download. So double click on that. Uh, we're gonna click more info. We're gonna run this anyway. Now, here's where you can get the error. On some VPSs, on some Windows, on, on your PC, you're gonna get a list of things which are going to be installed. In this particular example, it's only going to install multi-charts. It needs these other four things installed, but it's saying that they're already installed on this VPS. Sometimes you can get this Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 is not already installed, and there'll be a, a checkbox next to it to say that Multicharts will try and automatically install it, and this is where the error occurs. The minute you click install, you're going to find you're going to get an error. And let me show you now how we're going to get around that. So I'm just going to leave that for a minute. I'm not going to click install because on this VPS it's going to install perfectly. But if you do get the error, like the screenshot I've put on the screen, what you're going to do is go to the server manager. We're going to go to add roles and features. Click next, 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 next. 
then at the top here, we're going to have the .NET Framework 3.5, and it's not going to be installed. All you need to do is check the box for the 3.5, and then you're going to click Install here. It's going to take a moment. It's going to install that. Then you're going to come out of it, come out of the Server Manager. Then you're going to double click back on the multi charts install and it's going to work perfectly. Okay, so this is going to work perfectly anyway, so we're going to click install and we're going to let this install. Let's just take note it's 12 38 pm. Just all the defaults. And we're done, and it's 12.39. So close that. Now we're ready to go and open multi charts for the first time. This is where you will need your, your login and your password. So I'm going to put mine in. And that's it. We've got multi charts open for the first time. Let's just get out of that. Now the next thing to do within MultiCharts is start to connect your data source and your broker. I think MultiCharts do actually give you access to some data already, but that's for a different video. We can see how MultiCharts was very easy, very quick to install, especially on this VPS. Now MultiCharts is installed on our VPS or computer, we can get on and use it for what it's intended for. We can use it for development of trading strategies or automated trading or you can even use it just through for discretionary trading, just to place trades through. Personally, I install multi-charts on a VPS purely for live trading. Then I have another version installed on my laptop in which I do all of my strategy development. You don't have to do it on two different machines. It's just the way that I've always done things. If you'd like to learn more about how I use multi-charts, then I've actually created quite a large multi-charts guide that's over on my website. It shows you exactly all the settings and things like that. That's free for everyone to look at, so if you find the link, you can have a look at that guide. So what are the advantages of installing multi-charts or using a VPS in general over using our local laptop or PC computer? The first benefit, one which is most important to me, is the uptime. I've already mentioned that normally VPSs have an almost 100% uptime. They're always connected and they don't suffer from internet disconnects or power outages like your computer can at home. My trading is all automated and I trade mainly Forex which is a 24 hour market so I have to have multi-charts, I have to have the computer connected to a data stream and the broker 24 hours a day for at least five days a week and if I'm doing that on my home computer the slightest little interruption in power or internet can cause a disconnection and cause issues. And if you're using a good VPS, you're not going to have any of those issues to worry about. Benefit number two of using a VPS is access to Windows itself. Because currently MultiCharts is just a Windows-based platform. It doesn't run on Mac OS or doesn't have an app for iPad or anything like that. It's just a Windows-based platform. But using a Windows VPS, you can install MultiCharts and then you can access it and control it from a Mac or an iPad or even your phone, etc. So if you're like me, who doesn't have a physical Windows-based machine, then that's a really good option. Some of you might already notice that I do use a Mac, and on that I do actually have a virtual machine, which is a Windows machine, and that's how I run multi-charts alongside the Mac operating system. So there are other ways around it. The third benefit is the physical spec of the computer. You might be running quite an old laptop, and you might want more processing power to do hefty optimizations, etc., in multi-charts. With a VPS, you can easily configure whatever spec you know, tailored for your needs, and you don't have to go out and replace your computer at home. And the last benefit, benefit number four, is power savings. If you're using your local computer at home, especially a desktop, and you need it connected 24 hours a day for at least five days a week, 
then the power consumption, the power usage, soon adds up. That's especially so if you're doing a lot of big optimizations as part of your strategy process. The optimizations use more processing power and in turn more electricity. It's a very significant, but often overlooked cost, which of course you don't pay when you have the VPS. Even if you're not trading 24 hour markets, you might still want to run some large optimizations as part of your trading development. And you don't want your PC churning away all day or all through the night doing these optimizations. Instead, use a VPS, set them up, set the optimizations going, and just forget about it until they're done. I'm actually in the process of doing some quite large optimizations on multiple markets over in TradeStation, and I'm using a VPS to do that myself. So those are the main benefits that I like to take advantage of by using a VPS rather than my home PC or home laptop. If you'd like to see how I successfully can use an old MacBook Pro instead of a VPS and access it remotely, then click on the video in the top corner now. And that pretty much concludes this video. We've seen exactly how to install multicharts on a VPS or even your computer at home. And in terms of a review for trading FX VPS, it's been great. No crashes, uptime has been perfect, the customer support is very fast and helpful. Everything you could want from a VPS. So definitely one which I can recommend. Find the links to Trading FX VPS and the links to my multicharts guide, which may be pretty helpful. You can find those in the description down below. So I hope the video has been helpful. I know when I first came across that particular error when installing multicharts, it took me a while to figure it out and get a solution. And that's part of the reason I actually made this video in the first place. So I hope that might have helped you out too. If that has helped you out with that error, please leave a comment and let me know down below. Anyway, thanks for staying until the end of the video. I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, this is Jared Goodwin, and thank you.